Yes! Team Pigeon! Do you think it's a great car? Well, that's a good start. So oh, fiddly! squealing in the engine bay which is actually that turbo flutter noise or the turbo chatter that um, all of us petrol heads love you know if you've got a turbo car you want to get that noise um, and the reason I'm starting the video in the car is because right now there isn't any turbo flutter so if you sit down and listen when I put my foot down you'll just hear the dump valve recirculating but there's no flutter noise so if you have a listen you'll see what I mean so you can see the dump valve pushing the air out but it's not going like a do, 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 like a pigeon noise. Um, so let's hear it again. So what I'm going to show you guys today, um, and it's particularly for an Abarth 500 or an Abarth 595, but it, the concept is the same for most turbo cars. Now there's a lot of um, there's a lot of myths out there. Lots of people who probably watch this will tell me, oh no you're going to ruin your turbo. Um, yeah, potentially it will reduce the longevity of the turbo. Now, I'm not saying don't do this, but I'm saying if you are going to do this, then do it at your own risk. This is my disclaimer. I didn't tell you to do it. I'm just showing you how to do it. Um, so for this car specifically, the Abarth 505, and a lot of newer cars, turbo cars, they come fitted with um, the recirculation valves, but they're they, they work on solenoids more than anything. Uh, so they're almost like electronical, um, electronical dump valves or electronical recycle valve. A lot of the older cars, um, you know, your big old school Jap cars, you know, your Skylines, your 200SX, all those kind of cars, they effectively just, they just run with a stock reset valve and a lot of people, all they'll do is they'll just remove the valve and happy days, everything's done. But in these cars and in the newer cars, the problems that you get is if you if you remove the dump valve itself or you remove the recirc valve to get turbo flutter, it will flag an engine management light up on the dash, which is a pain in the arse. So I'm going to stop talking now and I'm going to join you guys back when I park up and I'll go into a bit more detail around um, how we get it in this car. And then naturally I'm going to show you what it sounds like as well. <clears throat> All right, so I've parked up now. Um, there's a lot of light in my face, so apologies, apologies if I seem like a bit of a ghost and I look really white. <laughs> <laughs> but it is what it is. I mean, we always complain about weather, and for once, it's actually nice and sunny, but it's freezing. Cool. So, what you're going to need, and for the Abarth specifically, for other cars, maybe not so much. But what you'll need in the Abarth, if you want to make this work properly, and you're going to, and you want full control of being able to turn it on and off uh, without having to go to a dealer or somewhere to get the engine management light reset, is you're going to need one of these, uh, which is my trusty scan gauge uh, which is great um, as opposed to if I can get the focus the toy that is there is something that you'd give your little kid for Christmas it's it's not great but so this is what you need you need a scan gauge because what this will do is this will effectively load up the engine management light and it'll give you the availability to clear it down so to get the actual flutter as well and there are a few supporting mods that you probably want to get. Most of us who have these cars will have it already, um, but it will be a intake, one that preferably if it goes into the skull, it will be so much louder from inside the cabin, but you can do the same thing with a, you know, your usual cone filter, etc. Let me show you what we need to be doing to get the noise. So as I said earlier, if you've got an intake, it helps massively. And if you see this one here, it goes straight into the skull. Down to the important part. And I hope you guys can see this. So, in order to get flutter, it's it's so easy. All you do, if you show here, is I oh, without breaking my key, is all I'm doing is I've unclipped the solenoid there, and now I'm just going to take it out. Just, just like that. So I've unplugged the solenoid, which now means that the recirc valve itself is off. So I'm just gonna tuck that away for the time being. 
Oh, so fiddly. So I'm gonna tuck that away for the time being and let's go hear what it sounds like. It should sound good. In fact, you, some of you who have been on the channel since day one, I think one of the first videos I posted was the noise that this car makes with that unplugged. So let me sit down and show you guys again, because I love the noise. And every now and again, I like to be a little bit vain when I go to a show, etc. So all I'll do is I'll unplug the dump valve, turn up, make a load of noise, um, and then just plug it back in afterwards. All right, so we're back in the car. Now let's start her up and let's see if she behaves. So normally you should get an engine management light come up. Or not, other than telling me that there's possible ice on the road, uh, the engine management light hasn't come on. I mean, well, it's in a bath, isn't it? It's the Italian. It's on a relaxed mode. It's like, hey, I'll tell you when the engine comes on later. All right, we have now joined Team Pigeon Crew. So let's have a listen. It just gives it that raw turbo noise, you know, like the rally cars, the old school rally cars have, where all you could hear was. Doo, 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 doo. I probably sound like a complete tit on camera making that noise, but I'll let you hear it from the car instead. Let's slow down. <laughs> Sometimes you'll get some really big ones, and it just sounds so good. Oh, pothole, pothole, pothole! Have a pigeon trapped under the honnet the, the honnet see that's my hood bonnet combined into one so i'm creating a word i have a pigeon trapped under the honnet and even when you really cane it oh, fail. Fail. yes team pigeon for the win hi pigeon what are your thoughts on the Abarth 595? Thought so. Do you think it's a great car? Well, that's a good start. Would you buy one? All right, let me turn around and I'll park up. Let's see if I can get the, um, the engine management light to come on and show you guys how to fix it if it does come on. All right, let's try and get this engine management light to come on. It's gonna stand me up. <laughs> okay, right, so we've got it now. So, if you have a look, We've got the check engine management light on now. So that what that's telling us, that's detecting that. Um, it's detecting that there is no dump valve at all, or it's telling us that the dump valve itself has failed. So, solution guys, we go over to the scan gauge and we'll simply push the button down here. We can go to scan. It tells you there there's a fault code, so let's see what it is. Uh, and it tells you it's a P0033 um, and that basically simply means that the, the dump valve has failed or it's unplugged. So all I'll do now is go to clear, clear the code, yes. And it's done. Resetting the engine management light with the scan gauge is a, a well you've just seen it, it's about a 10 second job if that. And I was doing it slowly just to show you guys. If you've got this and you do it regularly, you just get really used to it. You could probably do it in about two seconds. Um, but yeah, so guys, that's how you get turbo flutter on the Abarth 500. The concept will be pretty similar for a lot of other cars with um, electronic solenoids, um, but you just need to do the research and make sure that when you unplug the car, it doesn't put the car into limp mode because that's just a pain and you know, you can't it, it effectively, you know, it will run on low boost or no boost at all. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please, please leave a like, subscribe below for plenty more videos to come. Thank you.